Hello everybody, this is Louisa from Ellie Paper Studio and today I am doing um, a blog post for Scrapbook Blessings that is scrapbookblessings.blogspot.com and on Fridays we actually have scrapbook layouts going on. So for my layout, I'm very excited because it, it turned out a lot cuter or I think it will, I haven't put it all together, but I think it turned out better than what I really had envisioned. So to start off, I have already prepared my, it's going to be a two page layout. I've already prepared my pages. This page comes from Recollections Mosaic Memories and um, this paper, I should say. And then I have these um, sayings here and these actually come from these comes from the die cuts with a view amber autumn stack and as you can see I use these ones here and it's just one page towards the end and it has tons of really good labels to use for scrapbook albums and I can show you a few of them I'm not using them all for this layout um, I may use this one for the journaling but they're all very cute and Halloweeny so what I've done is that I've cut them up and I put them, I cut this out from the Stretch Your Imagination um, using one of the card borders. And then I cut this one also from Stretch Your, Your Imagination. And then what I do is that I hide because it's a it's a card frame really, not a card, uh, yeah, card border, card frame. So when it cuts out, it would cut out with a hole here for you to frame the picture or, or whatever you are framing. Instead, I hit that using the Cricut Craft Room software so that I could just stick them onto the complete cardstock. And this is some just purple cardstock. Um, and this layout, it's two page, as I said, so it has a lot of cuts. And they all mostly come from the Creative Friend Cricut cartridge. So we have a little pirate and a little witch and a little. Uh, Dracula count and a little princess and we have a flying pumpkin and um, a fiery cauldron and these were all cut at three inches and these were cut at two and a half actually let me take that back what I did is that I just placed them on the Cricut craft room software and I didn't change the measurements so I want to say these are about one and a quarter each so these are my little trick-or-treaters trick and then I have the scarecrow that I cut out from the um, stretcher I met, or sorry, this is the Simply Charm cartridge and I cut it out, um, I changed the colors a little bit to be a little bit darker um, and follow the theme of the black and the purple and he's going to be holding this trick-or-treat sign right here and I think that's just adorable. So I'm going to lay the layout really quickly and he was cut at six and a half so he's a pretty big cut. So this page here and I hope it's on in frame, this page here would have um, him there, a picture mat measuring um, the black part measures four and a half by four and a half and then the inside part is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So this would go like this. Then we have a few trick-or-treaters here and then on this page we would have these two mats, the rest of my trick-or-treaters, and then these are going to be accents to the pictures and then I'm also doing in the middle of them I'm going to be putting this moon here and these cloud these eerie clouds ah there's still the glue is still wet this is I use some cotton to make it look puffy so that's still wet the other thing that I will be doing and then the boo actually it's probably going to go somewhere like here. 
The other thing that I will be doing to add a little bit more to this is I will be putting a border strip on the bottom. I was going to do eerie black grass, but I've done that in a separate cards, and I don't like to repeat the same um, the same cuts, in, especially if it's the same theme also, so I'll probably just use a border pinch for that. And then I'll probably be placing this around here to create some journaling opportunities. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in fast forward and when we get back we should have a more complete layout.
Okay everybody, this is the finished layout. Um, I know because it's a two page spread there were some things that were probably, are going to probably end up being off frame and I apologize for that. Um, this is what I ended up doing, uh, finishing up. I ended up using more of these, so I used this journaling one and also this journaling here, but then I also used this one. I love it. It says, eat, drink, and be scary. So I thought it was kind of cute to give it the effect of, um, you know, the kids walking down on their neighborhood trick-or-treating. Um, and then definitely the journaling opportunities for all these pictures. Um, in hindsight, I would probably try to do um, some of these pictures um, vertically rather than, so like a six by four going long ways this way. Uh, a lot of the times when you're taking pictures of your kids' um, costumes or anyone's costume really, you're, you're focusing on a long frame rather than a, vert uh, a horizontal one. But I still think it ended up being alright, especially if you have, uh, if your kids are going out trick-or-treating with their friends, um, and they, or there's a group of them, you can take a picture of them and it'll probably be a really cute memento. And also because this paper is really cute and the measurements for these, I know that I gave them before, but just to make sure, um, the black was six and a half by, this one's four and a half by four and a half, and this is six and a half by four and a half, so then the purple one is six and um, a quarter by four and a quarter. So if you put a six by four picture, you're only going to be able to see that this little trim here, like you see it here. However, um, if you trim it up even a little bit more to maybe like three and a quarter by five, or three and three quarters by five and three quarters, you'll definitely be able to see some more of this really pretty paper. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. I try to line it up as much as possible. Um, two page spreads like these are a little bit harder because you do have to be careful with lining it up, but um, it turned out really, really cute. And then there's the scarecrow holding, the large scarecrow holding the trick-or-treat sign. Um, I thought it would be really cute. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to um, subscribe to scrapbookblessings.blogspot.com and elliepaperstudio.blogspot.com if you like these. Also, um, don't forget to visit both blogs um, for other projects like this. Uh, scrapbook Blessings has, every Friday has a different uh, scrapbook project, layout project, um, and then at my blog, every, at least once a week, or sometimes I'll, I'll alternate, um, I try to do some scrapbook layouts also. And then also, if you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ellie Paper Studio. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.